We begin tonight with the latest updates on the COVID-19 pandemic here in Western New York as cases continue to increase here. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. Scott is off tonight. For months, closures and other state guidelines have been based off of the percent positive rate, but hospitalizations are now the metric the governor says will be the focus. Two on your side's Kelly Dudzik joins us now with new information about how this will work. This will impact everything from what stays open, like indoor dining or whether we go into a red zone. Monday, the governor revealed new information about his winter plan, with Western New York having one of the highest percentages of its population hospitalized right now as a region. It's also a problem in the Finger Lakes region and in central New York. It's flipped from this spring. So Monday morning, Governor Cuomo ordered hospitals to increase their bed capacity by 25 percent and asked retired nurses and doctors to help. That should boost staffing levels by 20,000 people. Patients are also able to be transferred to different hospitals, both public and private. If hospital capacity becomes critical, meaning your seven day average shows that within three weeks you'll hit critical hospital capacity, which is 90%, your region will close down and go into a red zone. If you are at a rate that is going to overwhelm your hospitals, you must shut down, not just indoor dining, shut down only essential businesses. Oh, we don't want to do that again. Then change your behavior. But if we don't change our behavior, that is the absolute reality of the situation. How can you talk about close down again? That was terrible. Because it's the truth. It's the truth. Governor Cuomo says between now and April, when the general public starts getting vaccinated, is critical. That's when these hospitalization rates will be super important. In downtown Buffalo, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Kelly. While indoor dining is already shut down in orange zones, the state says it will follow the CDC's new guidance on restaurants that came out on Friday. That means that if regional hospitalization rates don't stabilize over the course of several days, indoor dining capacity will be reduced. But if the hospitalization rate doesn't stabilize over the next five days, then we'll go from 25 to zero in New York, 50 to 25 outside of New York City, besides the orange zones, which are already at zero. Now, this will all be based on the state's numbers, and restaurants would get a couple of days to make those changes.